Hi, welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks for joining me in the Treehouse today. Today's project is not a card. Today's project is uh, a butterfly and I'm going to show you how to make it flutter. So let me show you if you can kind, kind of see it. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in a little. There we go. So we're going to make our butterfly flutter. And I think there are some places where they actually call butterflies flutterbys. So, and this, you're going to be using a clothespin and then I'm going to show you how to do, attach the mechanism to make it actually flutter. Okay, these gorgeous butterflies came from the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and the coordinating dies. Now I used my Stamparatus and I just um, stamped a whole bunch of them at the same time. And then of course the dies, you can cut them out the same at the same time. And the another thing that I usually do is I will take my paper snips and I will go through and I'll kind of, if there was an uneven spot that I, that when I was running the die through that it didn't exactly work, I'll kind of trim it. And I also trim and I kind of free up his antennae. So I'll just kind of go in a little bit and around and just very carefully. Now paper snips are great. They're sharp. They're just perfect for this kind of thing. So just go through and it just, like I said you're just kind of freeing up those antennas not it doesn't necessarily it's not important you don't have to do it I just kind of like to do it so anyway so you'd be like that in the antennae or a little more free so that's what I'm what I do and I did on these as well okay so I'm going to let's try this purple guy right here and I'm gonna move all my other butterflies they can flutter away momentarily and I'm going to bring in my simply scored let me see if I can get it up to the edge so that you can see okay and the clothespins that I'm using I found colored clothespins and you can get them in a uh, different variety um, these came from a, a craft store um, you could get them on Amazon or, or, or really anything um, this one is a lot smaller you can see that this one is, they're the same width, but let me get my finger off and you can see that the navy blue one is a lot smaller. But the width is what is important as far as our measurements are concerned. And this uh, purple just kind of, look at that, I've got a dimensional back that's fluttered over here. So um, as long as your the width of your clothespin is a quarter of an inch, then these measurements should work for you. All right, so we're gonna take our butterfly, and it doesn't really matter which side you use, and I'm gonna just line him up next to, so that the center of him is against, it does not matter which, which one, but just so the center, his body is right in the middle of one of the inches, and then we need to go you're going to make it a quarter so you're going to go an eighth on either side so i'm going to come over here to this eighth and i'm going to make a score line right there on that side and a score line on this side of the other inch make sure i'm in the right the right channel here i think i missed my channel wow my channel yep i'm missing my channel i'm looking at the butterfly and not the <laughs> that's so funny no come back there we go there we go I'm looking at his body so yeah don't do what I did all right so there's there's the that would be a quarter so that's going to be where the clothespin will go so we've got we've got the the inch whatever the inch mark is centered in his body and then an eighth on either side so that it is a quarter okay so there you go and there are the score lines on this side and you'll keep your simply scored out and you'll get a piece of cardstock that matches i think i ended up using gorgeous grape but you could use uh, blackberry bliss would work with this one so in your piece of cardstock will need to be cut at um a quarter by three inches let me make sure that was really a quarter is that a quarter 
Yes, okay, just making sure. All right, so a quarter by three inches. And then you're gonna lay it on your score, simply score, and you're gonna go a quarter in. So it'll be two and three quarters, and you're gonna score here, and you're gonna score in a quarter, so add a quarter. So these two, I've already scored mine. And then you're gonna uh, score at one, and at two, and that is if you have it pushed up all the way to the end so that it's three. So a quarter in this way, a quarter in this way, and on the one and on the two. Okay, now we're finished with our simply scored. We'll move it out of the way and we'll proceed. All right, so now you've got your butterfly, your clothespin, and the strip that we just cut. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and flip your butterfly over, and we are going to glue this section onto the butterfly. All right, and you can kind of look. One of the things that we're gonna do is, you. it's better not to mess with the the metal mechanism of the clothespin. So it's better if we make our mechanism on this end. And so if I did it like this, then I'm out of the way of the metal mechanism here. And another thing I wanna point out is that you can do it this way so that the clothespin is at the bottom and it works that way, or you could also do the clothespin this way. And let me show you what, what the, the advantage would be. This is awesome. Um, but if you wanted to stick a note in there, let me use one of my, well, here's a piece of paper. If you wanted to put a note, attach it to a note or whatever, you, you could do that. Or you could also, if it was the other direction, you can also, you could stick it this way and stick it, a note on it. So you have, you have a choice either way you wanted to, to do it, to work it. So, um, and this one I did the bottom, I'm going to do the bottom again, yeah, this one as well. All right, so we've kind of got the measurements. Now, you can use the, the Tombow liquid glue, and I may use it a little bit. Uh, however, um, I'm not extremely patient, and you have to be kind of patient to make this uh, work. Um, so if you're not patient, then you might want to use the tear and tape. And I'm going to use a tear and tape on this. And we're going to, let me sort of fold, go ahead and fold where the lines are. And you're, all, you're folding them all inward. Okay, all of our score lines. I folded all my score lines. All right, and then I'm going to put the tear and tape on the center here. So, like that. And it's a little bit just a touch wider, but that's all right. You can always flip it back onto itself. I'm gonna pull off the backing and wherever it's, just kind of roll it back on itself. All right, and now I'm going to, we're gonna, oops, I did it backwards, didn't I? No problemo. Okay, we're gonna put it here. Center that, and now I just told you I had to fold it inward and we're gonna now fold it inward, but we're gonna do the reverse. Wow, well, today is backwards day for me. Okay, so now we've got it. And that looks that looks really good. Now you're going to, you will put tear and tape down this part of the butterfly and you will attach the clothespin here. So let's do that. We could also do it, like I said, with some liquid glue, and you could even reinforce it with some liquid glue as well. So right down the center of the butterfly, and I'm gonna snip it at the edge, okay, and tear off the, the backing. All right, and let me get the extra piece off of my finger. Okay. So now we, we have it, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put a little bit of liquid glue on it just to help it. Okay, and then we're gonna put our clothespin down. And since I've got the liquid glue, I'm gonna hold it just for a minute. Okay, and then the next thing that you're going to do is to make the mechanism work. Okay, we also need to pull our butterfly wings this way, right on where we scored it, so that the wings can come up. Okay, so they're gonna come up like that. 
All right, that looks good. So, because when they're up, that is when, that is when the mechanism, you're going to have this part attach, and then when you let go, the wings will come back down. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, and like I said, you can't, if you're doing just liquid glue, then it, you're going to have to, you're going to have to wait some time to make this all work. So let me get some more tear and tape. Now we're going to get really little. All right, we're going to, and you don't want any glue on the top of the, the clothespin, the one that's attached to the butterfly. No glue here. The only glue you want will be on the, the bottom one, the one away from the butterfly, the one that's now, that's now moving, okay, when you squeeze it. So I'm going to take the tear and tape that just pulled off of my finger. Let's do another one. I am. <laughs> I'm all glued up today. Let's do one more. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it just on this edge and around to the other edge. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so just like that. And then, or you can do the liquid glue. Well, let me see if I can pull it. It's a little tricky using such in little tight spots, tight areas. I can get it, get it to, there we go. And you don't want it, any glue in between. So I'm gonna flip the edges here like that. Make sure there's no glue in this section. All right, and now we will be able to adhere these. All right, and I, I think I will use a little bit of glue, a liquid glue. I'm gonna just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit on the, woo, that was a lot of bit, a lot of bit here and a lot of bit here, not really, just, it doesn't take a lot, right there, okay, and then I'm going to bring that little, that quarter inch piece, and it's going to go there, I'm going to hold it a minute, of course, that, that one also has the tear and tape on it, and then, I'm gonna pull the other one over. Let me see if I make sure I don't have any glue. And I'm gonna put it down on top. So those two pieces are down on top. And I'm gonna sit there and hold it because that was liquid glue. And this gives you an opportunity to kind of look underneath and you see what it looks like. It's kind of a, a funky triangle or something. Okay. And then it's gonna hold it because it's got that, like I said, on another one I did, I did all tear and tape, okay? And I see that this one still needs to be <laughs> a little bit more patience on there. Mm -hmm. So if you're not feeling very patient today, this is probably not a good project for you. All right, let's see if we can see what's attached and what's not attached at the moment. Okay, the side pieces are not attached, so I'm going to hold it, hold it on the side. Remember, it's not not the top one, just the side pieces. And if I needed to secure it open, the butterfly itself isn't down. Okay, it's really hard to show this because it's so it's so small. All right, I'm just trying to hold some things down here and see if we can if we can get it to do so that you can see. There we go. So now you've got your butterfly that can flutter by. All right, so that is what it looks like. All right, so if that shows you, and remember you're not gonna put, you're gonna put glue on the sides here and the back, and then you've got your butterfly. I hope that made sense. I hope you could kind of, kind of see it. So it opens up. This is, they're attached on both ends, the butterfly, and then on the back of the clothespin, like that. And it kind of looks like a triangle. Let me do it this way. It's kind of like a triangle, a funky triangle. And then, if I, I could get it to stay there, then you have the butterfly. All right, so there is the purple one. And then, like I said, we could use, you could use any of these and they would work. 
the smaller ones would be a little tricky. You might want the smaller clothespin. This one would the smaller clothespin would work better for the little tiny butterflies. But that there you have it. And so I just think it's fun. I think it would be a great way, a great thing to attach to, um, like a gift, a gift bag or a note card or whatever. Um, and you just slip the note in there, like I said, and there you have. You've got your butterfly flutter by. So I hope that you enjoy that. I hope that you will um, give this a try and let me know what you think. And if it was easy and which which uh, adhesive that you decided to use. Uh, there's advantages to the liquid glue as far as you get to wiggle it around a little bit. You have some manipulation of it. Uh, you do not as much with the tear and tape. But the tear and tape is a little bit stronger. So, um, and you can... Uh, you can actually combine them if you wanted to. So that is it uh, in a nutshell. And again, thanks for watching. And I hope you like this fun little project. And I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you next time in the Creative Treehouse. Bye-bye for now.